was mind blowing. You know, like they took us to so many good places, like so many beautiful mountains. We are moving all the time, and we are crossing some high peaks um, from one country to another. And each day brings us to the new destination, and that's that's one thing. So you can't get tired of of the views and the scenery because it's all the time different and it's changing so much, and it's always impressive to me. We're trying, we're coming, we're doing. That's it. The feeling being up in the mountain is something that it's, it's probably hard to describe. But if I have to, I would say it's definitely one thing that you, that you feel connected you know, with the nature. It's so peaceful, like you can almost hear your mind. You, you get to know yourself a bit because at the one point you, you start to realize how small you really are because it's like everything around you is so huge and it's, it's like never ending. You go up. You ride bikes, you respect the nature, you, you see the nature and it's just um, one of those feelings that you want, you want it to last. So yeah, that's the, that's the point. I'm not a morning person, but this, this is something I don't want to miss. We are as a profession. We are already up there, ready for the first ascent. I just can't wait to, to start to ride this. Just look at the single trail here. There are rocks inside and you are just like... I did too, yeah. <laughs> Maybe it's a Chinese wall, but we are in France, so it's a bit strange. It was a long climb, I know it took us some two hours to get up here. It keeps the spirit high, it's Bon Jovi, that real life, so I have to make it somehow through the day. <laughs> Es una subida dura de cojones. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so stage one is ready. Huh? It's uh, three kilometers long, and there is a forest section with some uh, humid roots. Dorsal 19, va para allá, empaquetado. Everything is so chilled and like we are racing but you don't feel like we are racing, we are just like hanging in there and having good fun and try to ride fast. <laughs> go, 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 go! Go, 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 go! go, go. Let's go for our beer. Yeah. Right now. Woo Did you break hub? Hey, yeah, you here. the flat. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Like, Same. Oh, fuck. Yeah. <laughs> So 
So morning, day three. We hike a bike for how much? 40 minutes, and yeah, 40 minutes left to the top. Well, we're here on the Spanish side, close to the natural border with, with France, on that uh, very characteristic uh, fork called uh, La Forqueta. We had a good day so far with the one long stage in the morning and now three more stages for the afternoon. It's about moving all the time. So we were two days in France, now back to Spain and again another sick place. This one is big. Yeah, still pushing the bike. Ooh. Like first day, you are excited. Second day, still excited. Third day, you are just tired, but still excited. The one thing that uh, impressed me the most was all those mountains around here with the meadow on top. Like, I've never seen something like that. El aneto el más alto, 3.404, posets 3.375, punta suelza 2.975 y monte perdido 3.355. quite flowy, it's fast, but we are in high mountains and there is quite some risk of cutting tires. I think it should be rocky, huh? Yeah, some 1.82, 83. I write 83 for the 83 for the rocks, 80 for the dirt. <laughs> ah, there you go. All the stress is down there, <laughs> not up here. Big siesta now and three more stages to fiesta. Adventure race, but when it comes down to time, there's no messing around. Al final, el ganador de Trasnoma de esta edición ha sido Biff Persak. Thank you for coming and hope to see, if not all of you, most of you next year in the Pyrenees.